want to sing here today. Now today I'm going to do an unboxing of the NVIDIA GT440 uh, GeForce graphics card by Gigabyte. So this is the overclocked version. Uh, it's been overclocked from 400, I mean 810 MHz to 830 MHz. So it's not an, you know, a huge overclock, but you know it's better than if you get a standard one, obviously. Um, this one cost me about £50, so it's not too expensive compared to a lot of graphics cards out there and uh, for what I'm going to be using it for for like GTA it should be enough because I'm not going to be really playing stuff like Crisis and other high graphic games like Battlefield 3 because um, I'll be playing them on my Xbox rather so um, this is the box itself on the side you've got the main specs like you know 1 gig of DDR3 RAM 128 bit it fits into your PCI Express 2.0 slot um, it's got HDMI and a, you know quite a large fan on there and it supports DirectX 11 uh, on the back it just goes into a bit more detail about them specs um, and that's pretty much the box done um, so if we open it up you've got the manual with the you know driver CD in there I would suggest getting this, the drivers off the internet as they'll be more up to date than the ones that come with the CD um, and obviously it's a bit easier than using the CD anyway uh, especially if you don't have a CD drive with your computer and uh, this is the graphics card itself. It looks like there's just some sort of French user manual in there as well. Um, so yeah, it's an, it's anti-static bag. Um, before you touch it, I would suggest grinding yourself. So touch any sort of tap you have around you or something like that to grind yourself um, before you take it out of the bag, which I've already done. So this is the graphics card itself. As you can see, it's got quite a big fan. It's quite a big graphics card in general obviously not as big as you know your really professional graphics card but for something of this price you know this sort of point compared to a lot of other graphics cards it's quite a big size especially against the ASUS version of this graphics card um, you've got your DVI port VGA port and HDMI port and obviously your PCI Express slot over here um, so yeah that's pretty much the card itself um, so we'll move on to the installation in a minute this is obviously my computer case here, obviously other computer cases will vary so we'll open it up for a start, it's just with mine at least, it's simply two screws here um, mine's in a bit of a mess at the moment as I haven't put the power supply in properly and I haven't really put the fan in at the moment so move them over to one side um, and as you can see the PCI Express slot is just there um, so we will try and install the graphics card itself here. So the first thing to do is really take off one of the expansion slots at the back. Um, I've already taken off one of the screws to save time. So you just take off one of the expansion slots and now you've got a sort of clear spot where the graphics card can go through so you can obviously access the ports on it. Um, just take off the PCI Express sort of cover at the bottom. And as this, this graphics card isn't, you know, doesn't need to be connected to the power supply, it can simply be slotted straight in to the motherboard. And obviously then you screw it in, and that's it. You've pretty much got your graphics card ready to go and use with your computer. Um, and that's the installation done. As you can see, it's fully installed now. Um, I won't be able to test the computer at the moment because I'm waiting for an extension for the, you know, the 24-pin the power to motherboard. As you can see, it's not long enough. Um, and... It's all fully installed at the back, it's been screwed in. You, I've just taken the cover off the VGI port because that's the one I'm going to be using the most. Um, and I say it's fully installed and should work once I get the power cable set up. Um, I will have a quick demo of this with GTA just to show you, you know, how it performs. Um, I'll be recording it with the camera rather than a sort of FAPS program to show you the you know, sort of full potential of the graphics card itself. So do stay subscribed to see that. Um, I'll have that done within the week. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.